Oh, I'm back home. <laughs> I'm home. <laughs> I oh, I love it. I do. <clears throat> so, the snow is mostly gone, which is amazing. Because if you saw my last video, it was like way up there but we actually had like it's been like a week or so and we have had a lot of warm weather come through Colorado and it has melted the majority of my snow I still have some left and I'll show you some because Rocky is rolling in it currently It's a windy day here um, at Spirit Forest. It's usually not that windy because I'm in this valley and that's the reason why I bought this property is because it hides a lot of the wind. But today is a little windy for Spirit Forest. Um, the weather's changing. What's that mean? Pretty soon I can put up my tent. <laughs> okay, if you're new to my channel because I do have a lot of new subscribers and Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, there's a little icon there below. Um, click that subscribe button and I get a lot of times people saying that they don't get notified when I post a video, so hit that little bell. I don't know if I need to say that, but I see a lot of the people saying it, so I just said it. You know what to do. Anyways, oh, I'm excited. Okay, so I am, I don't know what this video is gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna I got some things I gotta do before I can put up the tent and that's kind of what I'm doing today is I'm just gonna kind of clean up this deck if you kind of look around it's really it's really dirty um, just from you know me being on it and camping on it in the winter time if you haven't seen those videos check those out I was on this deck in a big Viking tent and I was um, camping here and so now I got to get it ready, nice and clean and ready for the tent to come. Now I do know that I'm going to sweep all this off and then the next time I come out here there's going to be a bunch of pine needles all over it again. But I don't care, it just makes me feel good. I'm going to do it anyways. Um, I have my water barrel. I have a new water barrel. I'm going to talk about that. Um, and I listened to some of your advice too regarding that. And then I have... Um, I have a new storage bin. You see, if you guys are used to see that storage bin over there, up, right, up, right there. There you go. That storage bin. I just bought another one. Um, yeah, I'm bringing stuff up here. Well, you know what I hate is that I'm constantly loading up my car, and Rocky's like, ah, I'm smushed. You know, so it's like I'm just gonna keep some more things up here. Um, I didn't bring anything more than just a storage bin. So today, the majority of my day here, I'm not sure about the video, but the majority of my day here is going to be um, putting that new storage bin up together. And again, like I said, I want this design of the tent to be a little bit different this year. So I've been kind of thinking of ideas of what I could do that could be a little different. Um, I've been searching online, but I don't want to buy a bunch of stuff <laughs> you know what I mean like I did I did buy a couple things that are new you know and I'll show you and I'm like oh that cost too much money but it's fun <laughs> so um anyways okay let's I'm gonna clean off this deck I'll give you a before picture and an after so you don't have to watch me sweep because that's got to be really boring So I'm gonna have to unload that. Now trying to get Rocky into my car with all this stuff in there. <laughs> he was not happy with me. He was not happy. But he's happy to be here and he's been running around like crazy. Um, but I gotta unload all this stuff. But before I do, what I really wanna do is I just, I wanna walk around my property cause it just felt like it's been a while since I've walked around my property and uh, I'm just gonna take you along. So you, for those of you that are new, um, you could see what my property looks like. And uh, without all the snow. <laughs> so let's, let's go for a walk. All alone again tonight, but you don't seem to forget about yourself. Wrong, but you didn't call for help. Let me tell you about the trees and the seas, how it's all connected. The flowers and the birds and bees, and all the lights that were. 
we're all affected mm-hmm. Watching, pray, pray, pray I'm breathing in on that walk with me. My, pro- my property is just beautiful and um, very special to me and I really love just walking around it and the little trail system that I put through it. Um, I did notice some new things. Um, a lot more deer have been here. A lot more deer. Uh, I don't think I've seen evidence of that many deer on my property and I think it's because again I'm on the north side um, so it stays really moist and that's the reason why my property is so forced like um, the moss is doing really well and um, and I think maybe the deer are coming down and taking some nibbles and some of my little bush plants and stuff um, which is really nice I think it's really cool sometimes I wish they would come here when I'm here but when Rocky's here that he scares them away I did notice a tree a new tree fell and uh, that is very dangerous in my property. I do um, towards the back end of my property. And mine's kind of, I guess it's kind of like a square now because I have two acres, but each acre is like um, really long. And so where the road is, is shorter and we're, and then it goes really long and it goes up this little hill. Um, and in the back of it is a lot of dead trees that I haven't been able to cut down yet. And uh, one of them fell. Not a really big one, but I did notice that there's there was a tree that fell. Um, I do have to come out here and cut down some more trees. And I think I've mentioned before that I'm going to be in the market for a chainsaw. Um, and I might also, when because of falling trees, I might um, hire someone to do that. Um, don't judge me. It's just I want to stay alive and safe. And I might just hire someone to do that. And, uh, you know, right around where the deck is at and where my campsites are at, all those dead trees are already cut down, so that's a safe area, but up towards the top of my property, you know, you just gotta, you know, pay attention. You'll hear them fall, because I've heard my next door neighbor, they had a huge tree fell, and you know it was falling, you know, so um, you're going to hear it fall. You're not going to be surprised by it. Okay, what other things did I see? Oh, I saw scat on the trail. Not that I'm I always talking about poop, but you know, that is part of reading the trail and reading your land. Um, I think it was a bobcat. And I think it had uh, squirrel hair in the poop. <laughs> yeah, I think it had a meal. I think it had a meal and I haven't seen the squirrel since I got here. So I think the bobcat might be doing its rounds and it's probably done with this area and maybe it's moving on to the next area. But um, I'm only laughing because I saw it on my trail cam. I saw a bobcat um, and I think it was chasing a squirrel. So um, I think it's, I think it's kind of funny. Anyways the circle of life right so i am going to unload some stuff i'm going to unload the water bin first and i'm going to talk about that so let's uh let's unload my new water bin hi babies you stink like deer poop go go you stink 
You stink, go. Yeah, he's nasty. I might say there's evidence of deer around here. Well, he thinks that's a meal for him. Oh my gosh. I hate it that he does that, but I can't control it because I'm, unless I put a muzzle on him or something. Anyways, <laughs> enough about my dog eating poop, you know? He's like one of the smartest breeds. And I, Anyways, uh, this is my water barrel and um, it was blue and I spray painted it. Looks like I need to touch up the spray paint a little bit. I'll do that later. Um, I put my logo on here. Um, again, I didn't want, it didn't need to be perfect. I was just trying to see if I can get my logo to show in the blue. I think it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, there we go. Does that look cool? It's always fun to brand stuff <laughs> and I brand it I brand everything with my logo even myself um, 55 gallon I don't know if I mentioned that 55 gallon um, barrel and it's food grade so I can drink out of it Rocky can drink out of it I I don't think I've ever drinking out of this um, <coughs> I could though if I needed to it's mostly Rocky's water yeah um, he drinks Depending on how hot it is, he can drink about um, two to three gallons a day. Yeah, he's a thirsty dog. He just constantly drinking. Um, so just bringing up that much water, especially if I'm here for, I'm gonna be here for 12 days straight. And so I need to provide all my water for those 12 days. Um, this is gonna be very useful during that time. Um, what it is is I have a big tent that you guys will see here coming up. I have a big tent that I put up and when it rains, it goes down this uh, like a little spout and I'll show it when I set that up later in another video. And then the water goes inside here. Now, if you are familiar with my channel, um, the video that was titled Stressed, and I was really stressed, that wasn't clickbait. I was really stressed. Um, somebody made a comment on that. I had six squirrels get inside this water barrel. Not this one exactly, actually this is a brand new one. Um, but the old water barrel had six dead squirrels in it. They all decided to take a swim. So this year, I'm going to do something different. Um, I have some stuff that I brought out here. It's like a wire mesh. Um, and I debated on screwing it on, but I think I'm gonna Velcro it on. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm debating, I don't know yet. I, I obviously haven't done it yet and I'm just debating on how I'm going to put this wire mesh on there so the squirrels can't get in. Um, I like being able to screw something back on and that's the only reason why, I mean screw this this part right here. Um, I like to be able to put that back on when the barrel is full and um, so that's why if I screw it in the metal mesh stuff, if I screw that in that it's going to be really kind of a pain to take it out. And so that's why I was thinking the Velcro and I got the industrial strength Velcro and I'm sure maybe a squirrel can get through that. I, I, don't, know. I don't know. Anyways, um, that's kind of my attempt. That's what I'm thinking right now. So if you have a different idea, let me know because I'm not setting it up today. Um, but I wanted to let you know that was my idea. So what's different about this water barrel compared to my last water barrel, oh, I'm so excited, is I have a spigot. Do you see it? It's a, like a little spigot. Oh, it's, um, yeah, I have it so that when I was spray painting, I wouldn't paint that. There we go, let me show you. There you go, look at that. So now when I, I don't have to pump to get the water out. Huh, and that night, that cost extra. That cost extra. And you know, I did get something in the mail from, I, I did get something in the mail and he was giving me parts to do this on my own but what you don't realize is the top doesn't come off and this one I don't know exactly how it works but when you tighten it it tightens it together I don't know so anyways this is what I'm doing this year um, I've tested it out on my my um, at my house in the city for a while just want to make sure everything was good 
Um, but the only thing that I'm gonna have to do that's different is I'm gonna have to ev elevate this. <laughs> do you see that? It's like right on the ground. So I'm gonna have to rig something up and elevate that a little bit. I don't know, I don't have any tools to build me that, but I just have like these wood planks over here or something. Um, I would like to bring it up to about there. Something like that. And I have a lot of pieces of wood that maybe what I could do is I can, I can cause I can put Rocky's bowl underneath that. If it's up there, once it starts getting really heavy, um, what I do is I start bringing out water cause it doesn't rain all, right away. At least it hasn't for the last two years I've been here. It hasn't rained right away, so I bring water out. Every time I come out, I bring extra water, and I just keep filling it and keep filling it and keep filling it. Okay, there's my project. I will be elevating that. But the next thing I want to do before I do this, because it might rain um, and I want to get it done, is my um, my storage bin. i got to figure out where I'm going to put it. And it might just be a temporary spot for right now. Look at this on the property. I've never seen that before. What do you... That's not rocky. It's really thick too, so I really think it's a wild animal and not a dog. I don't know what it is. But it's like a big... As you can see it compared to my foot, I'm just giving you sizing. That's pretty big. I don't know. Tell me what you think that might be. Okay, here's the storage bin. I bought the exact same one. Um, this is not the one I built yet, but I'm just showing you what it looks like and what I will be building. There you go. And you can see it's kind of full. It's kind of a mess in there too, but it's full. It has blankets and I got extra tarps and an extra tent in there. So you'll see I have a lot of stuff in here. I got some uh, wool blankets. I also have some matches and stuff like that. I have a first aid kit in there. I went through everything that's in here. Right now it's just a mess because I've just been... It's been really cold here and I've just been throwing stuff in there. Um, I, what I'd like to do is I want to store a lot of this stuff for my classes in the other bin because what I do is I take them up to the land and then I take them back down from the land and so this time I actually just want to keep it at the land and I do have a lock for it as well. So I'm going to build another one of these. These are really heavy. I had to take it apart and so it's in parts in my car and then put it then I have to put it back together and uh, and I won't be able to carry it by myself but I could carry it with somebody else and when I'm putting up the tent I plan to move it then. Hey rockers. Doesn't you look discontent? Oh, now you're moving. I didn't mean for you to move, buddy. Aww. Little Rockies. Okay, let me go grab the stuff out of the car and start building.
so I am totally like a creature of habit because if I find something that works for me, I just buy multiple of that thing. I don't really branch out. Again, I have another one on the property. It worked just fine. This is not bear proof. I'm just saying it that way because in case, whew, in case you ask, I can't store food in here. I can't store um, any of my uh, kitchen pots and pans and stuff. All of that goes in my bear bin. If you're not familiar with my bear bin, check out my videos. I got a ton of videos just on my bear bin, so check those videos out. But this is just for storing stuff out in the on my land. You know, stuff that doesn't cost a lot of money, but yet I don't really want it stolen. You know, um, <clears throat> it, it you can break into it. You know, it's made of plastic. If someone really wanted to break into it, all they'd have to do is probably just kick it open or something like that. But, you know, it's just trying to keep honest people honest, you know. Okay, before I move on to my water bin, I'm sure people are going to ask about the brand name and what is this called. I got it on... Oh, I think I got it on Amazon. I'm not 100% sure, but you could just look up look up that brand name. I think it's on Amazon and also at Costco, and it might be cheaper at Costco. So take a look at that. Um, better than better than Amazon. Um, this is actually my second bin that I ordered for this time. Uh, the first one they gave me was damaged, and I had to return it. So uh, not that that matters, and you should delete that out. I told you I had a family of crows here. Um, I usually have crows here, I just haven't had them as much as I have this year. Or should I say ravens? I have some ravens here. So the water barrel is um, is set up. It's ready to go. Um, other than you know making sure that the animals can't get inside, that will be one of my projects coming up. But again, if you have any ideas, I'm open to that. Um, it doesn't, this doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. It's a little wobbly, but once it gets really heavy, this thing isn't moving. Trust me, it's not moving anywhere. So um, I'm happy with it now. Got a, t a couple little bit of touch up paint that I need to do. Rocky, you want to get a snack? Don't touch me, you stink. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. The tail's going to knock over the camera. <laughs> Go on the deck. Go in the deck, yes. <laughs> okay, let's let's eat some lunch and just chill for a little bit. Not work, just chill. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy. So, I have apricots. I'm gonna snack on and strawberries that is my lunch and rocky as a rawhide given to me by a subscriber i have gotten some donations for rawhides what are you trying to say rocks i had some donations for rawhides and um i haven't given it to you yet buddy okay he's sitting all pretty like <laughs> i'm so mean okay go go 
Oh, he just spit on me, and that was deer poop. Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna wash my hands. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my hands with that water over there. Um, just so you know, he's already eaten. I always get, I always get people saying that I don't feed my dog. I feed my dog, and uh, he ate this morning, and he'll eat again tonight. Um, he just has a snack basically at night because. Um, things go right through him within a couple hours and I don't feel like getting up at three o'clock in the morning every morning but uh yeah let me wash my hands I'm gonna eat a little bit of lunch and then I'm just gonna chill with you you want to chill with me let's just chill I got a new tool in the mail from a subscriber and I want to show it off. I hope you like rest him with me for a little bit, but if you know me, I don't rest for too long. I think it might have been 30 minutes and then I was out and about again and I was like, oh, I remember I left this in my car so when I came out here, I could show you guys. This is really lightweight. Remember how I was telling you that the hatchets were really hurting my wrist and stuff? This is really lightweight. I absolutely love it. Now, I don't know if the subscriber wants me to tell you his name, but all I'm gonna really say is thank you so much because I absolutely love this. And we're gonna chop some wood and just, just test it is all we're doing. We're not making a fire today. Um, I have been looking for a little hatchet and you know, I'm actually kind of small, you guys. People that come up and meet me at, from knowing me on my YouTube channel and they meet me, they're like, oh, you're tiny. <laughs> I'm little. At least I think I'm little. I gained that weight in the winter time. We're going to lose that. We're going to lose that. But, but I'm little, you know, and like my wrists are really small. Like I wear like kid sizes for my wrist and stuff. So um, for any like bracelets and stuff. So I'm pretty small. So like carrying anything that's really heavy or using a tool that's really heavy has been really hard on me. So I really thank you so much for this. Um, you know, it feels really good too. And I don't know the brand name, you guys. I don't know it, but it, it feels really good. And again, it's really light. And it's something that I can even put in my backpack if I wanted to do some like bushcraft type backpacking. I could totally do that. Um, okay, so let's try this out. Now remember, all my wood here is very twisted. I have aspen here, and it's really, really twisted wood. I don't have a lot of straight wood here. So a lot of times when it, when it goes through the wood, um, it, it's really twisted. So you'll see that. Oh, and I should be able to aim better. I don't want to go right in the middle. I like it. I like it. 
You know what's cool is that I don't have to use my knife as much either. Let's see if I can get this to stand up. No. Maybe. <laughs> it's just chopping right through it. I'm liking it. I am liking this a lot. I really am. Because I think I'm like destroying my knives by using my knives. Come on, stay still. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Let's try this one, see if I can cut it this way. Almost breaks here. I love it, love it. This is gonna be so useful when I start making more fires in my tent. Um, this is gonna become very handy. In fact, I'm picking up these pieces so I can use them for when I start a fire at the tent. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I've been looking for something like this. He gave me some oil, so it's for me to oil it. Um, I really, I really like this. So thank you so much. You think I could paint a design on it? <laughs> That's so me. I'm like, you think I could paint something and like make it my own? I don't know. Would that ruin it? I don't know. I always like branding things. That's why you see my deck behind me is all painted. Because I think it's just oiled. It doesn't have any that that is not really slippery. And if I paint it, I wonder if the paint will stay on. Anyway, oh, anyway, I was just thinking that. Let me put this wood away and I'll get back to you. I have some time. I have some extra time. It's uh, 2 o'clock right now. You know, it takes me about two hours to get to Spirit Forest. Maybe a little less, a little less than two hours. And then it takes um, two hours back. So I'm in my car for four hours today. So when I get here, I just kind of want to like stay put and not drive anywhere. <laughs> you know, but I'm, I don't know. I'd like, I want to go for a hike, but I might just walk around and see the neighbor's houses and Do you hear it? Those same, those same ravens. Hmm. They really like my property now. They must have been my Viking tent they saw. <laughs> So I was thinking of going for a walk or something, I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out yet. Again, it's like, I don't really want to drive anywhere because it just takes so long to get here. I was actually planning on going, I was planning on camping here this weekend um, with both my girls, but they ended up having their own social life. And so um, that didn't happen. But you know, I've been talking a lot about Madison singing and how well she's doing with her singing and I haven't talked as much about Kyla and 
Kyla is my 11 year old and Madison is my 14 year old and uh, I want to mention some stuff about Kyla because part of the reason why I do these vlogs is that maybe one day that they will they will watch them you know and they will um, they'll remember me if something ever happens to me or whatever it may well, you never know what's gonna happen you know that they'll watch my vlogs and so I just want to I want to show a, a proud moment I had with Kyla this weekend this was the first swimming race that she's ever been in and uh, she loves the breaststroke she's a swimmer she loves the breaststroke and she won first place in her first meet on the breaststroke and first place on her second race as well which wasn't the breaststroke it was the one and again I'm learning all this stuff with swimming too um, where they do like all the strokes they do the back the breaststroke the uh, freestyle they do them all and she won first place on both and the teacher was amazed she said we've never seen someone just start the class and win first place now she's been swimming for a while but we just switched her to a new school a uh, new swim school and um, I think it's so much better for her too because they have a lot of like more kitty kid type activities and that's more Kyla style you know she wants to play too still you know she's not really into the competitive stuff quite yet but this was the first race that she's been in and she did really well and I'm just gonna show a little snippet because I want I'm a proud mom you guys I'm I'm so proud of my girls and I just want to show a little snippet of Kyla in her first race Didn't she do so good? She's so good. And she only swims one day a week. Um, I think in the next about year and a half, it's gonna go up a lot because she wants to be in the swim team for high school. So that's gonna be a lot of my weekends. You know, it's gonna start. It's starting. You know, the kids are having their own activities. They're doing their own things. And uh, I, will be, I will be there cheering them on. And that is more important than camping and more important than being in the mountains is cheering them on and making sure that they're fulfilling their goals and what it is they want to do. It is a fun stage in their life. It's fun. When, when Kyla was swimming, I was sitting back and I was just watching her, you know, as both of them, both my daughters right now are just kind of exploring the things that they like to do. You know, and they're kind of like developing into their own self and um, their own their own hobbies and so forth and I think that it's just it's it's wonderful to watch it you know they don't have to have my hobby I mean I take them along I take them along backpacking and hiking and camping and all that too but I do understand that they're their own individual and they're gonna like their own thing and um, I think swimming for Kyla and singing for Madison are pretty good hobbies, you know? And whether or not they stay in those hobbies, you know, that's kind of what it's about. It's exploring what it is that you want. Uh, when I was their age, I was really into horses. Well, I'm still into horses, but... <laughs> but, you know, I was really into horses and stuff. And, um, and it was, I, was in, I was a runner. I was uh, I was on track and track and field. I did all the running events for that. But uh, you know, it's it's fun to to watch them, and it's very important for them to have me there and supporting them. So I do see in a couple years, um, 
that I will be there supporting them and then probably, you know, maybe not camping as much just because I got to be there for them. You know, it's important. It's important. But I will always be hiking. <laughs> I will always be hiking so if you're ever worried that my videos are gonna go down No, they're not gonna go down because I know I'll need my mountain time, too So I can see myself going to a swim meet or a singing thing and either a hiking before that or after that So that's just who I am. I got to be myself, too You know, that's really important and my kids have to see that, too. They have to see that I have my own hobbies um, I think I mentioned in a few videos that, uh, you know, it's important for your kids to, to see you grow and to see you develop and to see you learn new things um, because that inspires them um, to, to find what it is that, that they have a drive for. I'm just walking around, taking you with me, looking at the property. It smells, I wish you could be here and smell this. It's, it smells like fresh air. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but it's, it's like earth. It's very earthy, very um, sprucey. <laughs> Got a lot of spruce trees around here, so it's kind of like a Christmas, kind of smells like Christmas. I wish you were here to s smell it. To me, I smell that and I think I'm home, you know, like, I really like being here. Sorry if this is a long video. Actually, I'm not sorry. You know, sometimes you guys like long videos and, and if I just sit and hang out with you in my forest, that spirit forest, some of you like that. You know, and that's what I feel like doing right now. So, I'm just going to sit and chat with you. You know, I thought about that uh, these are some of the years that I'm really going to remember. You know, where you have, um, we all have mountains to climb. You know, and I'm talking about an analogy, of course, but we all have mountains to climb. And uh, I've climbed my share of mountains. And I don't think I'm done yet. Like I got some, I got some more mountains to climb and like I have an idea of what I want for my destination, you know, at the end of my life, what I want. But a lot of times it's just not, it's not a straight line path. It's, you climb up to a little part of the mountain, you kind of look and you, that's really pretty and then you stop and, and then you can take in the air and. And then you re get reminded of what your destination is and at the top of the peak and then you climb a little bit more and then you get distracted by a squirrel or, you know what I mean? It's just, that's kind of how life is. Um, or weather gets really bad and you got to turn back around just to climb, to get into the trees so that you can climb back up again when the weather's good. And I think you guys know what I'm talking about. There's just t sometimes you have to take a step back in order to take a step forward. Now I'm at my bushcraft camp. I built this so I can stay the night in it in the winter time. Uh, however, this winter I wasn't able to. And, and I had my Viking tent, so I wanted to stay in the Viking tent. So maybe another time I'll come out here and... and uh, stay the night there I think that'd be kind of fun again um, so I was thinking that maybe you might want to know what's going on this summer like what's my plans well I, I'm trying not to plan too much but someone just recently asked me they're like hey let me know when you got a Friday or Saturday open and we'll go hang out and I was like mm, September <laughs> I'm like I'm in the mountains Every weekend, just so you know, I'm gonna be up here every weekend and I've taken a ton of days off of work so I can be up here, so, which means I have not, like, st I haven't really taken too many vacation. I took that one vacation and that was it. That was like my only time off. So this is gonna be really nice to be up here and to, to camp and to backpack and to kayak. Like I got all this stuff planned and I have 12 days 
at Spirit Forest by myself. Yes. And I'm pretty excited about that. And I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but I know I'm going to bring my kayak um, and I'm going to bring my backpack. So we'll probably end up kayaking at some point and then backpacking, hiking probably every day. I want to hike. Um, so we, you've got some good stuff coming up ahead. You know, and I've been debating, and you know, tell me if, if you would like this or not. I've been debating on whether or not to do like a, like a daily vlog up here. And now, of course, I don't have internet here, so I can't like post it that day. But when I get back into town, I'll just post it, you know, um, so that you get like a daily vlog for like 12 days, <laughs> you know? Um, I don't know, is that too much? I mean, it wouldn't be forever. It would just be like for the, these 12 days that I'm out here. Um, if that's something that you'd be interested in, um, I would do that. I'd probably still shoot my regular videos, except I would have like a vlog series too. You know, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me what you want. And um, I'll do that. I've been asked to do kind of like, what is it like there every day when you're up there for 12 days? You know, what do you do? And it would be, it would be very raw. So it wouldn't be that much editing or anything like that. Like I'll be like, you know, I was like, porta potty's coming today or, you know, something like, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. I got to take a shower. I got to figure out how to clean. <laughs> got to find some wood. I'm hungry. I want pizza. <laughs> You see, I have to plan food for, cause I'm gonna be here and then I'm leaving and then I'm flying down to um, a different state and then I'm flying back and the day that I fly back, I'm literally taking off from the airport, picking up Madison and we're coming back to the mountains. So I have to plan food for 16 days. <laughs> And part of it's backpacking, part of it's just camping. Um, the grocery stores around here really don't have the food that I like for, for camping and stuff. So I have to plan this all in the city. Okay, I'm back at the deck. I'm gonna end this video here soon. I'm going to try to arrange it so that um, I can get all the poles, the ridge pole and everything for the, the big canvas tent. I'm gonna bring it out, put it up on the deck so that way when we come to the the land we have everything all ready to go um, that is my thought just trying to make it quicker because i think who's going to help me put up the tent is the girl's daddy and madison and kyla i think i don't know when it's going to go up so it all depends on the weather and who's available at the time so um, that's what i think is going to happen um, but we also have a lot of slumber parties and birthday parties and a whole bunch of stuff going on so most likely we're gonna have to come up here really fast with everybody and then put up the tent and then leave really fast and that's probably what's gonna happen so I'm gonna try I'm gonna get all the Viking wood under the deck and all the other wood for my canvas tent back up and if you're not familiar with my canvas tent my canvas tent is 16 feet by 14 feet it is really big and it requires multiple people to put it up that one I cannot do by myself um, and so I'm just trying to make it as easy as possible and as fast as possible so um, if they have to come up here and go to a slumber party we can still do it <laughs> my kids social life is getting busy it's getting busy Okay, let me get this done and then I'll end up saying goodbye here shortly. You said, let me tell you everything I've seen, the friends I've made, and then you tell me how you've been. Look a little closer, it's been quite some time But you gotta let me know if I'm out of line But there's some words that I just wanna say To put it all straight before this night turns into day And then I'm on my way Yes, I'm on my way
Okay, we've hit the end of my video. I have all the, the ridge pole and all the lumber that's needed for my tent. Um, maybe the next video you see will be me putting up the tent. I hope so. I hope so. And I hope it doesn't snow. So there's, there's a risk um, to give you an idea. It did snow here. Was it last week? I think it was last week. Seven inches. Yeah. It can't snow any more than three inches for my tent to be up. So if I do put it up next weekend, there's a risk for me doing that. Um, but I think that might be the only weekend I can do it and have help. So in a short notice, like I've had a lot of people offer to help me put up the tent and I appreciate it. But a lot of times I don't know I'm putting up the tent until the day I'm putting up the tent. Because <laughs> it really truly depends on the weather. If it's raining, I can't put up the tent because I just I just don't want to have it have mold on it and stuff like that. You know, it's not that the tent can't handle the rain that much. It's just what well, the tent is is um, it's supposed to last like seven years. I think the tent. That's what that's what they say. That's what the manufacturer says. Seven years. Now I'm not sure if that's like up all the time, all year round for seven years. I would assume that might be it. So I'm hoping just to keep my tent alive as long as I possibly can. However, the the sun up here is just really powerful, so it um, it does damage my tent a bit because of the sun. <sighs> I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> The season is starting. It's going to be spring. Oh, it is spring, but it's going to feel like spring. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Thanks for joining me. If you made it all the way through the end of this video, I appreciate it. I really do. Just thanks for joining me today. I just kind of brought you with me and, you know, I'm kind of bummed to go back home, but it's time to go back. It's time to go back. I got to do some stuff down there too. So, um, hope you have an, a wonderful day and again thanks for joining me and I hope to see you on the next video. Let's cross our fingers. The next video is putting the tent up. If it's not, it'll be me hiking. <laughs> okay, bye bye and I'll see you later. <laughs>